Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, let's talk about a feature that is um, useful and interesting. If you are wondering, have you ever been in contact with malware or any types of security problem, there's a feature that will give you a report depending on your risks that you took and things that could have happened. And you will know in here if, for some reason, something bad has infected your machine at some point. It could be something that was blocked at some point. It doesn't mean necessarily you're infected at the time that you check it out, but it will let you know of security risks. And it's the protection history in Windows Security. When you go to Windows Security, both on Windows 10 and on Windows 11, and you go into the Virus and Threat Protection, you will have protection history. Now in Windows 11, they have decided that Windows Defender, Windows Security has its own protection history tab, but in Windows 10, it will be accessed through the wind virus and threat protection as it is also in Windows 11. So protection history, as you see here, it says no recent, recent actions. What that means is that nothing bad has uh, infected my PC. I've not encountered viruses, malware. I've not had any security threats of some sort. It's an empty report. And if yours looks like this, be thankful because that's the way you want it. Now, what if you have had some problems? Well, a typical report will look like this. It will show you protection history and it will tell you what threats are blocked and it will actually give you a rating of how bad it is. Is it severe? Is it just, you know, uh, important? Is it just nothing really bad, but just out of curiosity, we block this or that. And each of the options has actions. That means you can remove it, you can block it, you can do a lot of different things that will be offered to you on each of the threats. If yours come out with a report then that has threats, that means you have been in contact with malware at some point. It could be something you downloaded. It could be something you clicked on. Wherever and however you got it, the report will tell you of all the different threats that are in here and their severity. And then you can choose what actions to take to remove them or not. If you have something here, because I've seen people say, well, you know, I've got stuff there, but it's not dangerous. I'm sorry. If you have stuff here, it's dangerous. This needs to be removed. You need to take action. And that's it. Um, a lot of people are in the impression, well, no, this is just, you know, it's, it's not true. It's not a problem. Yes, it is. You should not have anything in here. And this report should be empty like the one I have. No recent actions. That's the way it should be. If you have threat protection reports with all sorts of malware and, and, and different reports of how severe stuff is, you are taking chances. You have been in contact with malware and you will be at some point infected or you will be at some point uh, having problems on your PC. It's very important to note that that report needs to be empty. So take whatever actions is actually telling you but if this report comes back again and again and again, every time it scans, every time it finds something, you might be at the level where I actually told you that the best way to clean your system is to do a complete reinstall of Windows, starting from scratch and formatting your hard drive. So protection history is a way to actually know if you've been in contact with anything bad recently. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.